ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word in our heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can somebody shout hallelujah wherever you are? Woo! Hallelujah. What a beautiful day. All right. We will progress in this service as we go into praise section.
all the glory. You are great, Lord. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you, Lord. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the awesome Father. Oh, we worship you this morning. Come and worship you from the depth of your heart this morning. Oh, we give you all the praise, Jesus.
Give him praise this morning. Our God is great. Our God is awesome. Our God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. worship you. We exalt you. Faithful God, we bless you. Thank you, ancient of days. To you alone be all the glory. In Jesus' gracious name, we have given worship to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. This God is good and he's faithful. We have witnesses. We have proofs of his faithfulness in our midst and i'm going to be reading to you two proofs testimonies telling us that the god we serve is very 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 real and is very faithful and is right here in our midst please listen to this my testimony he said i give god praise because my family has never lacked provision since the lockdown started i will also like to thank god particularly for the favor i received from a client who paid a full two month service charge for a service i didn't render a service i didn't render this according to her is a gift for the season oh somebody is receiving a gift for the season you will receive a gift for this season in the name of Jesus Christ. I also thank him for healing and good health. I give him all the glory. Hallelujah. This is coming from Sister Balogu. You are right here. Do you see that despite what is happening, somebody is receiving a gift. You will be the next. If you believe, shout hallelujah. You will be the next. Receiving gift for the season. Second testimony. My husband drives a tricycle, also known as Keke. Early this year, he had an accident where he hit a woman's car. The woman insisted that my husband should repair her car. It was a trying period since we didn't expect such an incident. My husband repaired the car. It cost us a good sum. This week, surprisingly, the woman called and said her insurance company paid back the money used to repair the car and return it to my husband she said i know it will be useful for you in this lockdown period god is awesome thank you jesus this is coming from sister kate i know that it will be useful for you in this period our mommy and the lord have said a times without number that there is no permanent loss for the child of God I don't know what you have lost this season the Lord will restore it back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hear me testimonies are spirit of Christ prophecy anytime you hear a testimony just key into it have you lost something as we are entering the month of June there shall be recoveries in the mighty name of Jesus thank you father we give you glory. Hallelujah. Can you wave your hand? Hallelujah. Can you wave your hand and just thank God for those powerful testimonies? Beautiful. And please, let's proceed as we receive ministration in song. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Today we are declaring the hand of the Lord upon us. Stay blessed as you listen in Jesus' name. Amen.
your hand on me. I see your hand on me. Adonai, Adonai, I see your hand on me. I see your hand on me. You say. Don't I see your hand on me. 
you alive this is supposed to be a thanksgiving service this is supposed to be a service where you lift up your voice and give thanks unto the lord if the lord spared your life till now may ending then he will spare you till june till july till august september october november december i can see the glory of the lord around you don't worry you may be in the corner of your room you may be in your living room you may be in your bedroom you may be in your office wherever you are watching this online service from lift your hands and give him praise come on in your own way the singers they have sung unto us they have sung unto the lord now you do your own unto the lord give the lord praise in a few minutes we cannot continue this service if we do not give thanks unto the lord wherever you may be thank him thank him thank him thank him many people are dying i'm telling you all over the world many people are dying but the lord has kept you alive up till now Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Come and thank him in your own words. Thank him for life. Thank him for every good thing he has done for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercies endures forever. Come on, come on. Our God deserves all praise. Before I share the word, we need to praise him. Is worthy of glory. Is worthy of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Let's sing. Let's sing. Let's sing this song two times. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for great things He has done. Come on. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for great things He has done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for great things He has done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for great things He has done. It's a Thanksgiving service. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thanks to the Lord. Are you giving me a dance offering? For great things He has done. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for great things He has done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For great things He has done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For great things He has done. Come on, give me a dance offering. It's a Thanksgiving service. Come on. You may be in the corner of your room, but give Him thanks. Come on, dance, 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 dance. You are not a lockdown in your room. Give thanks. Who oh, gave thanks to the Lord for great things He has done? Who oh, gave thanks to the Lord for great things He has done? Thank you, Lord. and give the Lord a thank you thunderous clap offering come on it's worthy of all praise and glory hallelujah thank you Jesus amen and amen all right God bless you take a seat and let's listen to the word of God 
it's so wonderful that we can connect like this let me tell you there may be lockdown everywhere but you are not locked down in the corner of your room in your living room in your bedroom wherever you may be you are not locked down so feel free to express yourself hallelujah father we thank you for bringing us together today the last day and the last sunday in the month of may five months gone in 2020 despite the pandemic we are still here despite what is happening all over the world we are still standing we are standing we are standing we give you praise in the name of jesus lord we share your word again today bless every hearer in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen praise the lord we've been on a series on the lord is my shepherd and this is the third sunday and i'm going to try to just round up all the remaining benefits of the lord being our shepherd don't forget i told you that when you talk about a shepherd there are three important things that you will see in the life of a shepherd the shepherd watches over the flock the shepherd looks over the flock and the shepherd also takes care of the flock and don't ever forget that the lord is your shepherd he chose to be your shepherd so allow him to shepherd you and i'm thankful to god because i've had amazing testimonies of god's responsiveness and responsibility in the lives of his children praise the name of the lord so i'm going to read again psalm 23 and then we'll go to verse 5 and 6 to see the benefits today reading from the beginning of psalm 23 it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies and thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever can i hear an amen amen praise the lord now we've seen several benefits today we are running off with the benefits in verse 5 and 6 thou anointest my head with oil i said it last week that talking about the anointing with oil we can stretch it into so many dimensions last week we talked about the oil of gladness and me oh i had the oil of gladness flowing all over me throughout last week i was just glad and i'm sure many of you have the same testimonies now we want to go into another aspect of this oil and this oil that i want to talk about is the oil of healing oil of healing now when i went to israel like i told you and we were taken to the place where the shepherds were something that tallies with this scripture was one of the things i saw every shepherd has a pouch he carries around and in that pouch there is an ointment there is oil inside that pouch you know, Israel is the land of olive oil. And olive oil, especially the cold press, is very medicinal. So shepherds carry oil ointment in their pouch. Why do they carry this? So that in case the sheep grazing or walking around gets minor injuries or bruises, this oil is put upon the bruise so that it will easily heal. Hmm. That means there is a provision for healing. For everyone who has the Lord as his shepherd. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, it's amazing that Jesus told the disciples in the book of Mark chapter 6 and verse 13. Mark 6, 13. You know, if you read from verse 11, 12, Jesus told the disciples, he said, go and preach everywhere. And he said, he told them that as they go, they should cast out devils and anoint people with oil. Look at verse 13. He said, and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them so up front going to preach the gospel they needed to carry the oil so that people that are sick can be anointed wow in james chapter 5 as well verse 13 and 14 the bible says in verse 14 is any sick among you 
let him call on the elders of the church let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick while elders are shepherds jesus christ is the great shepherd you can see how it works so one of the benefits that god is your shepherd is that healing is prepared jeremiah 33 6 it says i will give them health and cure so maybe you are listening to me this morning and you are sick because the lord is your shepherd healing is guaranteed and by the time this service is over we are going to pray and I, I can assure you you are going to be healed in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ see he anointed my head with oil usually the head of sheep sustains more injury than every other part because it's the head they used to push around hallelujah your head is being anointed today for sound health for healing for cure in the name of jesus and it says my cup runneth over hey my cup runneth over you see cup is a sense of portion you know when when you go to a, a, a running tap you go with your cup that cup is your portion so you go there you fill the cup with water you can fill one quarter you can fill half you can fill it full and you can decide to fill it for it to be over, overflowing and overrunning. Now, Jesus, the Bible says that he, he, he anointed my earth with oil and my cup runneth over. That is, he's going to fill your cup with more than you need. It's not going to be merely full. It's not going to be just enough. But it's going to run over. Enough and more than enough. Abundance. That's the work of a shepherd. I... I went to Uganda some years ago and um, something, uh, you know, there's a culture they have. If you come as a guest, when they're going to serve you, they will serve you with food much more than you can consume. For instance, like they have two guests, they will serve the table with food that can feed six. So the first time we, I know we, we were, I think it was Katun Kanugu or something, I can't remember the name of that, that, that village any longer. And this table was set, I said, I, how many people are going to eat this food? They said, they said, that's our culture. If you are our guest, we must give you more than enough so that when you are done, we have leftover. If there are no leftover when you are done, we have not served you well. Wow. If human beings can do that, how much more our God? Look, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, the Bible says, he is able to do unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that is at work in us not according to what you can provide but according to the power that is at work david understands this and he said my cup runneth over because it can do for you beyond what you can ever think and all through the scriptures we have so many examples remember jesus christ when he wanted to feed five thousand just five loaves of bread and two fishes everybody ate Till they were over full and they had baskets left over. That is your cup running over. There's nobody there that, that will say he didn't eat. They had more than enough. And if they wanted to share out of the leftover baskets, they could have shared it. So hear me today. If you can believe the word of the Lord, you are going to have more than you can ever carry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I was looking at the story of Hannah yesterday. Hannah cried for many years for a child. Most times when they go to Shiloh, she would just be crying. She would not eat. But when the Lord met with her, the woman that had no child became a mother of seven. That's running over, isn't it? Who would want to have seven children in this time and age? But God gave her seven. You remember the story of Abraham too? For over 25 years, Abraham waited for a child. He was saying, Lord, give me, a, give, give me an heir. You know, let your promise be fulfilled. Abraham ended up having eight children at over 100. Abba. He had Ishmael with, with Haggai, had Isaac with Sarah. And after Sarah died, everybody would think Abraham would just go and rest. That man, no rest, you. When God gave him strength to, 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 pro, to, to, to produce children, it was strong. He had six other children. That was his cup running over. Listen to me this morning, wherever you may be, you think... I don't have enough or you think I don't even have at all it says your cup will run over praise the Lord in you had the testimonies that was read to us somebody said in this time of lockdown she had abundance even the money that she didn't expect was paid to her 
Is this God not amazing? Can you believe the word of the Lord today? Your cup will run over in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go to the top and fill it. Let it continue to flow. Let them say you are wasting it. Don't worry. There's nothing like waste with God. Get your cup running over because that is the promise of the Lord. If you can believe it, you can get it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then it goes on to say, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy. There is confidence in the word of David. Goodness and mercy will come after me, will follow me. You know, listen, when something is following you, you don't have control over that thing. The thing is, is the one that determines what to do. It, it just comes after you. It just come, it's, just, it's just pouring on you. It says goodness and mercy will pursue you, will follow you. As you are going to the right, it's following you. You are going to the left, it's following you. You are going forward, it's following you. Even if you want to retreat, it's also retreat. It is all around you. Goodness and mercy. Hallelujah. At the beginning of the year, we, we talked about goodness. The Lord said to us, he said, this year is our new glory. Let me tell you again, Abana Life House and everybody watching me everywhere. When God told me new glory, I was wondering, why did he not just say glory? Why new? New is because the old order is going to be obsolete. Can you see that a new glory is happening right now? Because with the pandemic and everything, so many things are obsolete. So many things are closed. So many things are, are put aside. There is something new that God is doing. You better leverage on it. Leverage on it. New glory. If you cannot see it, you cannot achieve it. If you cannot see it, you cannot get it. There is something new that God is doing. And it is glory. It's glory. A new glory. Something different. Something that you have never experienced before. Something you've not seen before. Now, it says goodness and mercy. One of the things that, that characterizes glory is God's goodness. God's goodness. When you see goodness, you see glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Goodness means goodwill, honor, kindness, anything good. Good, good, anything good. So nothing bad is your portion this year in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Exodus 34 verse 6 says, our God, let me read to you, Exodus chapter 34 and verse 6. It says, our God is abundant in goodness. Exodus 34 and verse 6. Let me, let me, I, I need to read that scripture to you. Just hold on. Let me read to you. Exodus 34 verse 6. Where are you? Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Woo. It says, And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. Our God is abundant in goodness and truth. So it can cause your cup of goodness to run over. I love that scripture. He is abundant in goodness. He's not abundant in evil. He's not abundant in any other, anything contrary. He is abundant in goodness. Now, Psalm 31 and verse 19. Let me read Psalm 31 and verse 19 to you. It says, Oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Great is your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that put their trust in you before the sons of men. So God is about to pour upon you goodness that everybody will see. Hallelujah. He's been laid up. God is not trying to fabricate your goodness. He's not trying to, he's not running up and down to put it together. It's been laid up. And he has wrought them for those who trust him. Look at the amazing testimony we had today. I remember that testimony clearly. When that brother hit that woman, he came to me and he was very upset. I said, look, don't worry. He said, mommy, this is not good at the beginning of the year. I said, don't worry. Just, we just, we, I prayed with him. And um, he, 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 he repaired the vehicle. It took, it, it's a good sum of money, let me tell you. 
And we all forgot about it. And his business continued. But just a few days ago, in the middle of this lockdown, the woman said the insurance has paid her and she paid back the money to the brother. If she didn't pay back the brother, nobody would hold her. She wouldn't, and the brother would not know. And he said something. He said, I know this will be handy in this time of lockdown. You know, for, for me, I think God knows that lockdown is coming. So he made him to cuckoo. He kept some money for him. Money that he would not have kept for himself. Because God sees the end from the beginning. So God said, you will need it. So let me keep it for you. So God kept it, kept it for him. When he needed it, the money came. God has kept some. The Bible says he had laid it in stock. He has laid some, some goodness in stock for you. And I prophesy to your life today that as we enter into this new month of June, in fact, June is the month of God's goodness. That was what he told me today. You are going to see the goodness that he has laid up for you. Lift your hand and say, in the name of Jesus, I believe the word of the Lord. As I enter into the month of June tomorrow, I will see the goodness of the Lord that he has laid down for me his goodness that he has wrought for me before the children of men my testimony will be visible and notable in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus shout amen wherever you may be you nobody is going to stop you from shouting amen in the corner of your room hallelujah hallelujah I love Jeremiah 31 talking about goodness Jeremiah 31 I'm going to read from verse 12 listen listen as I'm reading just key yourself hmm? See this thing following you, following you, following you, overtaking you, self. Jeremiah 31, 12. He said, therefore shall they come and sing in the height of Zion and shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord. Uh -uh. They will flow together to the goodness of the Lord. So the goodness of the Lord that is pursuing you will catch up with you and you begin to flow together. You move to the right, is goodness. You go to the left, to goodness, is goodness. You do like this, is good. You just flow together. Hallelujah. The choir just sang to us, there is glory all around. There is goodness all around. It says, let's read on. For wheat and for wine and for oil and for the young of the flock and of the herd, and their soul shall be as a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow anymore at all. You can't see goodness and see sorrow. The two are parallel lines. They don't go together. Look at verse 13. He said, Then shall the virgin rejoice in dance. The young men and old together will I turn their mourning into joy, and we comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. Virgin, married men, married women everybody we have joy and god will give them comfort from their sorrow because goodness the goodness of the lord is flowing around them verse 14 says and i will satiate the soul of the priest with fatness and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness said the lord said the lord not janet or nolakbo it is the lord that said it and if god said it it is settled believe it where the word of God is, there is power. The Bible says the voice of the Lord thundereth. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the, voice of the Lord he, he know, flows over the waters. This is, the, this is said by the Lord. He said he will satisfy you with his goodness. I want you to believe the word of the Lord today. If you believe it, I'm telling you it will happen to you. Hallelujah. Psalm 107 tells us so much about God's goodness. I think we dwelt on this at the beginning of the year. But let me just show you a few of the verses there. Psalm 107 verse 8. And nine psalm 107 wherever you may be if you have not opened your bible today open it right now because i want you to see the goodness of the lord that we follow you and not just once not just twice but all the days of your life beginning from the sixth month of the year psalm 102 psalm 107 i'm going to read verse 8 and 9 psalm 107 verse 8 and 9 it says oh that men will praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Goodness and wonderful works, they are the same thing. So if you want to define goodness, you want to say wonderful works of God. So any wonderful work of God, you are qualified for it in this season. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. And he went on to say in verse 9, you know, breaking it down, he said, He satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness it satisfies the long the hungry soul and fill the longing soul with goodness that is the blessing of god if you are hungry god will satisfy you 
I'm telling you. God will satisfy you. Me, I love to eat yam. And um, during this lockdown, our yam finished. And I was telling my daughter, I said, ah, there's no yam again, no? and I'm not ready to buy because the yams well, these days, you can't even be sure the one that would be good. And I'm telling you, by the evening of that day, somebody visited me and brought for me six big tubers of yam. I had to also give out. I still have yam. Don't come to me because I'm not ready to give anybody. God blessed me with the yams. And I'm enjoying the goodness of the Lord. You too can enjoy. He said it satisfies the hungry soul. Satisfies them. Look at verse 15. Look at verse 15. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. He had broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. Limitations are taken out of your way. This is the goodness of the Lord. Hear me, maybe there is a limitation along your way today. God is breaking it away. He's breaking those, those limitations and he's going to give you a miracle. That is one of the manifestations of the goodness of the Lord. Can we see a, 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 a few more? Psalm, Psalm, that's same Psalm 107. Let's, let's go down to verse, um, um, verse 31. He said, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. Why? Because of his goodness. Verse 33, He turned rivers into a wilderness. And a water spring into dry ground. A fruitful land into barrenness. Because of the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Any wickedness that is prospering against you. The Lord said he will dry it up. It will cause water springs to dry up and become dry ground. Because it is wicked. You know what it says? Every tree that my father has not planted. He said he will uproot it. And now look at verse 35. He says, then he turns the wilderness into a standing water. You know, as he's drying up the waters of wickedness, he's releasing the waters of God's blessing. Hallelujah. He's going to turn that wilderness into a standing water. He's going to cause your womb to conceive and have two, three, four. If, 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 you, if you have enough faith to receive it, he's going to cause your, your lockdown to become a, 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 a look up. All over the world, people are complaining Many people are losing their jobs. Some businesses are failing. So many things are happening. But let me tell you, in the midst of that, God is blessing people. Ah, I'm telling you, some people, you know, one man's food is another man's poison, like my son will say. God is blessing people. Look, God can bless you. He can turn that wilderness into a standing water. And he says, it will turn dry ground onto water springs. Water will begin to spring. 36. And there, he maketh the hungry to dwell. <laughs> That place where the land was dry is turning it into water springs and it will make the hungry to dwell there that they may prepare a city for habitation. So that dry ground becomes a blossoming city. I see God turn that business into a great and blossoming business. I see God turn that thing that looks so small in your hand. I see God making it big, global. He said, verse 37, and sow the fields and plant vineyards that which may yield fruits of increase. Fruits of increase. As they begin to sow seeds, as they begin to plant vineyards, it will increase. The work of their hands will prosper. 38, he blessed them also so that they are multiplied greatly and he suffered not their cattle to decrease. He will not allow anything that is your portion to decree. That is the word of the Lord. Those are the goodness of the Lord. He says, and goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Not just one day, not just two days. Can you believe this word? Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you just lift up your faith and believe? All you need to do is, God said it, I believe it, it is settled. I'm telling you, believe God, you will see the benefits of him being your shepherd. Don't forget, he chose to be your shepherd. So you submit yourself as a sheep unto him and see him manifest the grace of being a shepherd over your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we enter into this new month, trust the Lord that it's going to be a month of sound health because the oil is already upon your head. Trust the Lord that it's going to be a month that your cup will run over, exceeding abundantly above what you can think or ask because it's his power that, that is doing it. Trust the Lord for goodness and mercy. 
to follow you and pursue you. And then you remain as a sheep. Don't stray away. Don't, don't browse away. Stay as a sheep. And you will see the manifestation of the work and the benefits of the shepherd in your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say amen if you believe that. So get up wherever you may be and let us pray. I want you to just pray in a few minutes. Talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I submit myself to you for the oil of healing. Let the oil of healing flow. Maybe you are not even sick, but you see you can receive sound health. You can receive grace. You can receive strength. You can receive the boosting of your immunity by the, by, by the oil of anointing. Lift your voice and say, Lord, let that oil flow through me right now. Now, now present your cup to the Lord and say, Lord, 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 let my cup begin to run over. I receive exceeding abundantly above what I can ever think or imagine. Maybe you have an idea of a business or something you are putting together. Be present that cup to the Lord today for a run over. And I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, I receive goodness and mercy to follow me and pursue me all the days of my life. Come on, lift your voice and let us pray. Let us pray, let us pray. This is a prayer time. For the next two minutes, pray this prayer. Receive this benefit. Lord, I thank you for your word that works. Your word is settled in heaven. The Bible says, as rain comes down from heaven and it does not return backwards, but it waters the hand, ground and sprout, bringing bread to the eater and seed to the sower. He says, so shall your word be. It will not go back to you void. Lord, I thank you for your word today that you have released unto us. I position myself and I receive that oil, that oil, that oil of healing, that oil. That you said, let them anoint him with oil. Oh, I receive that oil. Sound health in the name of Jesus Christ. I reject every form of sicknesses and diseases, including coronavirus, including malaria, including typhoid, including every sickness is ravaging people all over the world. I receive sound health, the oil of healing, the anointing of oil in the name of Jesus. Lord, I present my cup to you today. Lebo Shakalaba City, the cup of my life, the cup of all my desires, the cup of all the things I'm thinking about, the cup of all the things that I trust you for. I present this cup to you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, let my cup run over. Lord, my cup must run over. I put it under the water. I'm not taking it away. I put it right before you. Let my cup run over according to your word because you are my good shepherd. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying or you are playing? Are you praying or you are looking at me? The angel of the Lord is right there with you to take your prayer to ascend to heaven and to descend with answers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, my I want you to pray for yourself, Lord, as I step into the month of June, let your goodness and mercy follow me. Oh, let it be all around me. Let your glory be all around me. Your goodness and your mercy in the name of Jesus. The goodness of satisfaction. The goodness of satisfaction. The goodness of you breaking the gates of brass and the bars of iron. The goodness of you drying up the water springs of wickedness and the goodness of you turning the dry land in my life to become fruitful until it becomes a blossoming city and the, the goodness that will make me never to sorrow or be afraid in the name of Jesus from the first day to the last day of June I step into goodness I step into mercy I step into goodness I step into mercy in the name of Jesus and everyone watching me today live on this uh, uh, on this on this online service I release the goodness of the Lord upon you in the name of Jesus, Maliga Daba Zaga Daba Shata, Ikanderebo Shandara Baba, Mandara Baba Baba, Shandere, Lika Balaba Shata Yadada. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift your hands up and let's pray in the Holy Ghost for two minutes, and then I'm going to pray for you. Come on, the Bible says we do not know how to pray as we ought. You don't know what June is going to be all about, but it said it's the month of His goodness. So just commit it unto the Lord and the praying in the Spirit. Come on, come on, lift your voice and let's pray. Maleke. Bosoko lebo shata ida gaza daga basante andele bo shanda raba baba baba makete bosoko liya bara bashande ataka basa karaba shende every day of the month of June me daga zegele bo shande ya ikala baba baba ikala baba baba ikala baba baba ikala baba baba mandele bo bo shanda raba baba ikala baba baba shanda raba bo soria open the floodgates open the floodgates and let it pour let it rain 
Ele mo shanda le 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 brondo la baba shanda ya baba baba sakala baba baba. Come and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. The floodgate of heaven is being opened right now. E kala baba baba shanda la baba baba. Come on, come on, come on. Lift your voice and pray. Don't stop until I stop you. Something is happening this morning. E dagala baba shete. It's the last day of the month of May. La kata bale baba shanda ya. We are preparing the ground for the month of June. Open the floodgates, oh God. Ah la baba shanda. And let your rain pour upon everyone that is listening and watching today. He does the kete borobo shanda baba. Ele bobo bobo shanda, ele bobo sakala baba baba shanda. E kala baba baba shanda, de 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 de. Male bobo bobo shakala baba baba shanda baba baba shanda. Oh, thank you, Jesus. E da baba baba shanda da baba. Lift your hands and let's sing that song together. Open the floodgates. Come on, lift your hands. In abundance. Your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgates in a bond. And cause your rain to fall on me. Baba, oh. shepherd of the chief shepherd and I pray Lord that the benefits we have seen today will manifest in the life of everyone watching this online service and anyone who will watch thereafter in the name of Jesus Christ. The oil of sound health is poured upon you. You shall not see coronavirus in the name of Jesus. Your cup that you have presented unto the Lord today, it will run over. Goodness and mercy will follow you and pursue you and flow together with you in the name of Jesus. And you will never ever get out of the presence of the shepherd. The shepherd will keep you in the fold unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you blameless unto the Lord. I commit you and everyone and myself today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. The month of June is the month of your goodness. We receive all manner of goodnesses. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, let the whole world, the whole world see your goodness. Dry up the fountain of coronavirus over the world. And release the waters of healing and sound health. Dry up the fountain of, of, of economic recession and violence all over the world, oh Lord. And let the joy of, habi, of, of inhabiting and building a city, economy coming over, coming back again, be released all over the world. 
Have mercy on the nations of the world, O oh Lord. Have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy on Lagos State. Have mercy on all the states of the world. Do that which only you can do. So that all men will praise you for your goodness and for your wonderful works. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take your seat. Take your seat. Just hold on. We are not done yet. I want to just make a few announcements. A few announcements. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is the first day of June. It's going to be a day of fasting and praying. And we are dwelling on all the goodnesses of the Lord. As many goodness of the Lord as you can remember. Begin to present it to the Lord as a cup. If you're an Abana lifer, we are going to send the, the prayer items for tomorrow to you. Through your district heads and um, your unit heads and your pastors. So take note of that. Fast tomorrow. Start the month of June with fasting and prayer. Praise the Lord. And this is the month of our National Women Convention. We are going to be having our Women Convention. It's going to be awesome. Though we are on, it's going to be online, but it's going to be still be awesome. Friday morning, we are going to have prevailing prayers by 10 o'clock through our WhatsApp fellowship. And in the evening, we are going to have an online service. Our guest speaker, one of the, what a great woman of God, highly anointed, Reverend Lynn Oladakpo. She's going to be ministering to us in the evening of Friday, this Friday, 6 p.m., log online straight and be blessed. We are overcomers. That's the theme of Women's Convention, the overcomer. You are an overcomer. And then Sunday morning, we're going to come again and have a great service to the glory of the Lord. So get ready for Women's Convention. Every woman, Friday morning, 10 o'clock, and then Saturday morning as well, 10 o'clock, through our WhatsApp fellowships. We're going to have a health talk on Saturday morning. But evening, Friday is for everybody, wherever you may be, log online, 6 o'clock, and be blessed and become an overcomer in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And after the women's convention, we'll have the men's convention as well. The devil cannot stop us. No lockdown can lock us down because we are alive and well. Lift your offering and let's give the Lord an offering. This is the last Sunday of the month. It's a Thanksgiving service. So take your devices and see all the, all the account numbers on the screen. Come on, send your offerings and your tithes. Don't ever let anybody deceive you. You give to the Lord because you love him. He has kept you alive. Go and ask people who are dying in the hospital. They are paying thousands of naira to keep themselves alive. But God says, give unto me and I will give back to you. Good measure, press down, shaking together and running over. Don't ever forget to give your tithes. This is the best time to give to the Lord what he has given to you so that you can have your cup running over. So take your devices, send your, 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 your tithes and offering to, to the account and the Lord will bless you. But let me bless every tithe. Father, I bless all tithes and all offerings today. According to your word, let our financial cup run over. The way you bless people in this time of lockdown and they are testifying. Lord, let testimonies increase in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you honor and glory. And the work of the kingdom will continue to advance because people are giving to the work. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you are blessed today and your blessing will never ever stop in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely His goodness and mercy shall follow me and flow with me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. If you're an abundant life, let's read our creed. I have abundant life. Jesus paid for it with his blood. I am an abundant lifer. Our church vision is to know Christ and to make him known. Through my character, people will know Christ. Through my prosperity, people will know Christ. We are special to God and God is special to us. What about you? I, Janet Onolakbo, I'm special to God and God is special to me. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship him. Let's, let's, let's worship him deliberately. Lord, we bow to you and we give you praise. That's our way of ending our service in thanksgiving unto the Lord. Come on. Okay.
bless in Jesus name let the praises continue don't let it stop for the rest of today let your praises continue